connect and draw lines of symmetry. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, www.mrmathblog.com and when you go there just click on the fourth grade math link. It's up at the top uh, and you'll find all your lessons in there including reviews for tests and stuff. Okay so there's our common core strand and so our essential question is how can we find lines of symmetry and we'll do some several examples in here so so here we go so we're gonna find lines of symmetry here with this activity and we're gonna need uh, isometric and square dot paper and the straight edge I won't need any in here because I've I've made it right here so if you have some and if you don't then you can just watch but if you do have some draw a triangle like the one shown down here okay now all the sides have equal lengths right here so it's actually called an equilateral triangle in geometry so if you can see they all have spaces of twos in between them so one two there's one space two space there's one space two space so all the uh, sides are equal their sides of two okay so we have that triangle drawn there and then <clears throat> let me just move it up here so now we're going to fold the triangle in different ways to test for lines of symmetry. Remember, lines of symmetry are, are uh, it's like a mirror image. So one side looks exactly like the other side. And then we'll draw lines along the folded lines that are uh, the lines of symmetry. Okay, so let's check this one out. Can you see if I, we drew this line right here, and if I fold this paper in half, and I'll fold it right in half right down there. Okay, so there it is folded in half right there okay and so can you see that that this side right here folded right on top of this side right here so the the um, there's two sides together right here I just folded the paper right in half so this would be called a line of symmetry so go ahead and use your pencil and your straight edge and then just uh, connect that uh, nice fold that you have and make a line of symmetry right there okay now let's keep going so there's this has uh, one line of symmetry so here's another one right here we fold it right there and I'm not gonna fold it right here but can you see if I folded it this side would fold right down on that side right here these two sides and, and when you get into geometry they're called congruent sides right here so since they're equal to each other then uh, this is a line of symmetry they're like a mirror image whatever happens on this side if I could look through a mirror if this red line this red dotted line was a mirror um, it would show me the, the mirror image over here. So there's two lines of symmetry. Can you see another line of symmetry? What if we did a line going from this vertex right here and then went down through that way right there? Can you see that that's going to give us uh, three lines of symmetry right there? Okay, so this, this equilateral triangle, or it's a, which means a triangle that has all three equal sides, this equilateral triangle um, has three lines of symmetry. So is there any line of symmetry that we can fold the paper horizontally? Well, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some erasing and stuff. Let's see. If I did uh, uh, a line this way, would that th does, does the top look like it's equal to the bottom? No, the, the bottom's not even a triangle. The top is a triangle. I don't think there's anywhere I can put a line right there that would make it equal, the top equal to the bottom. A horizontal line, that's a horizontal line that's going... Uh, like this you guys so so the answer is um, uh, whoops let me go back this way here so the answer is no there is uh, no lines of symmetry if we folded it horizontally okay alright so we're gonna repeat the steps for the following polygons below and complete the table okay so here we have uh, the equilateral triangle the, the with the triangle that has three equal sides um, and it gave us three lines of symmetry back there. Let's go back, okay? So we had this triangle right here, and it gave us these three lines of symmetry right there, okay? So we're going to experiment to see what happens with the square. So I'll enlarge the square in the next one. Then we'll do it with the parallelogram and the rhombus and the trapezoid and the, hexa uh, the hexagon, you guys. So let's go ahead and count the sides. The square has four sides. A parallelogram has one, two, three, four. So does a rhombus. How about this one? One, two, three, four. Hmm, how about this one right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six. Well, let's put those numbers in real quick. Okay, and then um, uh, let's see. Let's do the square. Here's the square right there. Okay, there's one line of symmetry. Can you see if I folded it right in half, the top would fold right down on the bottom? There's two lines of symmetry. If we folded it right there, the left side would fold over on the right side. Are there any other lines of symmetry? Yeah, right there. There's another line of symmetry going from the diagonals. Can you see if, if I folded this side over, it would fold right on that one? And then there's one more. It's going to the other diagonals right there. Okay, so this square has uh, four lines of symmetry. Okay, notice this triangle has three lines of symmetry. 
and uh, there were three sides. The square had four sides, gave us four lines of symmetry. Well, let's check out this parallelogram. How many do you think it'll give us on this one? Okay, if I drew this line right here, would it be a line of symmetry if I drew straight down right there? Does it look like if I folded this half over here on this side? Uh, this, this little corner would be over here somewhere, so it wouldn't land right on top. So that's, that's not a line of symmetry right there. But if I did it right like that from the corners right there, if I folded it this, this side, I think would fold down on that side right there. So there's one line of symmetry, and then, and then that one's going to fold. I think if I folded this right over there, it would fold right over there. So this parallelogram only has two lines of symmetry right there. The rhombus also will only have two lines of symmetry. So here's the rhombus right there. There's one and then the other. I can't, you know, if I drew, drew a line straight down right here, it wouldn't be, I, I couldn't get a line of symmetry. And if I drew one this way, the same thing, it wouldn't give me a line of symmetry, a horizontal or a vertical right there, because this half would fold over here and not, not right on top. It would not be a, a mirror image on those. Okay, so this only has two lines of symmetry. What about the trapezoid? Okay, the trapezoid, um, let's see, if I did right down the center right there, it's only going to give us that one line of symmetry. If we did this, you guys, if I drew this guy right there, I can see that this side is definitely not equal to that side right there. So that's the only line of symmetry on that one. Okay, what about this hexagon, you guys? Okay, so here's one. Okay, can you see if I folded it right over? There's another. There's another. Are there any others that you can see? What if we went right in the sides right there? Can you see that they just fold right over? So there's four, there's five, there's six right there. So look at this hexagon. This hexagon gives us six uh, sides and it gave us six lines of symmetry. Okay, so uh, in a regular polygon, you guys, up here, I'm reading this up here, in a regular polygon, regular means all sides and all angles are equal. Like in this regular triangle, all the sides are equal, and all these angles, they end up being 60 degrees. Here, a square, all sides are equal, and all the angles are 90 degrees. Okay, this is not regular because this, um, all the angles aren't equal and all the sides aren't equal. Here, rhombus, the sides are equal, but this angle is an acute angle, and this, this is an obtuse angle. But this hexagon, all sides and angles are equal. So let's focus on those guys. So what characteristics are there with the regular polygons and the number of sides of symmetry that they have? And regular polygons just have all sides and angles are equal. So we're focusing on this one. So notice it has three sides and three lines of symmetry. Whoops, I, I forgot a Y right there. There should be a Y. This has four sides and there's four lines of symmetry. The only other regular one was this hexagon had six sides and it had six lines of symmetry. So can you see that the number of lines of symmetry is the same as the number of sides, as long as it's a regular polygon? Okay. All right, so how many lines of symmetry does a circle have? Well, what if I did this one? If I could fold this guy right there, something like right there. Can you see that's a good line of symmetry right there? What about if I folded it right there? So there's two of them. What if I folded it right there? Can you see it? I can keep doing this for infinitely many times as long as it goes through the center of the circle. So there are infinite number of lines of symmetry on a circle because any line that goes through the center of the circle will be a line of symmetry. Do you guys know what that's called if it goes through the center of a circle? Do you know what this is called right here? It's called a diameter right there. So as long as it's a diameter, it's going to be a, a line of symmetry right there. Okay. How many lines of symmetry does uh, each of the figures have? All right. Well, let's look at this butterfly right here. Would this be a line of symmetry? If I folded it right on top, does it look like the top would fold down equally on the bottom? I don't think so, but what if I did this one right here? Okay, uh, if I folded that guy right there, right down, right down the center. I think the left side would be equal to the right side right there. So there's one line of symmetry. What about this guy right here? This one, uh, let's see, if I, if I went right there, there's one line of symmetry. If I folded it, uh, does that work? Uh, let's see. I don't know if that works right there. Um, trying to see if that one does right there. How about how about this one right here? If I go straight down, is that a line of symmetry right there? I think so. I think this side will fold over on this side. I think this side will fold over. Yeah. So those are two of them right there, and I think there's one more. 
This little uh, seahorse right here, I don't see any lines of symmetry on that one right there. Okay, all right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and, and I hope you're having fun. Take care.